what made me stick into this thing definitely not the money because i would have earned more had i become a, a teacher or a, a bank job or an advocate or something like that but somehow first time i must tell you why i joined this department those days in ma english literature mr stevenson would watch for me we were supposed to be buttoned up and say good morning good evening professors not supposed to laugh in the classroom i still recall how msr m shivaram krishna chided me he was teaching shakespeare and i smiled so you think shakespeare is funny <laughs> oh boy i was rattled and this was a classroom it was such a freedom here uh bash bashiruddin the great man i, I think bcj was that and mcj was this he used to throw <laughs> cigarettes at the uh, students you want to smoke smoke there were a lot of girls and boys mixing freely and they were watching bbc news clips a ticker we used to have a ticker here so i thought this is life not uh, tie and uh, this thing so jokes apart when we moved into this thing this gave journalism gives you an opportunity which is hard actually but you live every moment of it if you become a bank employee or if you become a teacher or if you become a, a, a section officer or whatever whatever jobs it's a 10 to 5 job after 5 o'clock your professional life ends and your social life begins 5 6 whatever but in journalism we are always on the call so the amalgamation of social life and professional life gives you a kick you are i am on duty now i am taking calls and i am organizing things i know what is happening elsewhere i know how to reach my what say readers so you lose that sort of a social life in seen in terms of other uh, professions so that is why when friends want to meet for a drink let us say everybody would say okay by 7 o'clock we'll meet and start and then have dinner by 9:30 whereas i will come out of my office only at 10:30 so that way my social life and professional life are mingled so much that we can't differentiate what is social life and what is professional life i might be going here and there spending some time having a cup of tea or a beer or a cigarette with a friend getting information working as well as social life continues so and then the number 2 is the opportunity to communicate with audience which are not visible i think that is another thing which keeps people tick in this uh, profession when i tweet a latest development i do not know who is seeing that thing but when they respond i feel that thing okay here is a guy who is watching me when a guy what say or a girl what say disagrees with me and abuses me i know yes i am in the mind space of somebody people what say abusers people what say criticizers but we know that you know okay we don't take the abuses per se on a, on a personality but we think that you know okay we are in that mind space where people are watching what you are doing i think that makes you kick financially it is nothing much actually i must also tell you when i joined citizens evening my salary was 317 rupees 50 paise 1750 was a student pass tip we had a student pass section here right we still have that it's 17 rupees 50 paise was a general bus ticket 300 rupees was the salary but 30 years later it has gone phenomenally i won't tell you how much i draw now <laughs> but what makes a journalist tick is this your ability to influence the thinking of somebody if you are reporting report responsibly your ability to connect to that unseen faces the unseen masses your ability to set that agenda agenda setting function your ability to inform others do what they are expected to do and keep quiet they will remain at that level only but you show a little bit enthusiasm always you know your chance of growing up the ladder are more